Good day, welcome to Matters of the Soul. My name is Erich Skuman. Welcome to the program on conflict management and especially for couples. But it is uh, applicable for all relationships really. You know, um, conflict is an uh, inevitable part of every relationship that we experience and uh, we really need skills and we need a solid foundation uh, with uh, the Lord in order to really manage conflict effectively. Now the Lord has a lot to say about relationships and how we deal with people Um, and that is what I'm going to focus on in the next couple of programs, some practical skills on how to manage conflict but also the, the, the biblical picture. Now you know 1 Peter 4 verse 8 has a wonderful scripture in the Amplified Version. It says, Above all things have intense and unfailing love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. It forgives and disregards the offenses of others. And you know, that's the, that's the wonderful part is that, the, that um, the Lord wants us to love, but it's also a difficult part uh, because it is unconditional and you can hear intense and unfailing you know that's surely above hum- human uh, abilities and that is why we do need the holy spirit in order to help us with that because the, the it is a godly love that that the lord is asking of us but he does not just leave us there without empowering us you know romans 5 confirms for us that the love of god is poured out into our hearts through the holy spirit so the Lord gives us his love and he also shows us his love um, at, um, and, and that empowers us. But you know, in, in order for us to work on conflict management and to um, manage conflict effectively, if we really want to do that, then building your relationship with the Lord and having a strong, secure relationship where you receive love will sustain and maintain that love and um, it will also strengthen it during difficult times. Um, otherwise, we become reactive and we get stuck in escalating battles of blame, um, you know, an intense emotion where we just feel offended and we defend ourselves and, and, and it becomes a to and fro battle and a power struggle. And in the end, we actually hurt each other instead of helping each other and, and it becomes very destructive. So the relationship with the Lord is a fountain as such where you draw from it and it and it flows into you and then it flows through you. And during those times of difficulty, it becomes a, a source of strength. If you want to compare a child that comes from a very loving home that is at school and is being bullied, it is tough for him to be bullied, but he has a, he has a family life where he is safe and where he's accepted and where he can, can vent and where he can receive inputs and love and care. And that becomes his secure place where when he's outside and the winds of of bullying and whatever hits him then at least he's in the shelter of his family life so it's a similar thing in our marriage life now if both partners have a solid relationship with the lord that's all the more better because then both can draw from him and draw from his insight his wisdom and his guidance but it's important to know that the lord loves you and to have an experience in your own life of his love. Now, some of the ways that the Lord has shown his love for us is by dying for us at the cross. Now, that in, in itself is a huge demonstration of love because it's unconditional. He died for you whilst you were still a sinner. He paid a huge price for you just because he wanted to. And he offers you this free gift, not manipulating you with it, but offering it to you. And, um, and, and he's done that and his love is unconditional so there's no real conditions and there's no conditions for maintaining his love. Uh, you do not have to uh, do all the good works in order for him to just uh, accept you and love you. He comes to you in your state. Now, um, so that's important for you is to really uh, grasp that love. Now, my recommendation for you for this week is to go and Ask the Lord if he could reveal his love to you in Christ more and more. And it's also the prayer of Paul so that you can uh, you can draw from that strong relationship. And in psychology, we would say that strong attachment where it becomes a secure place for you and where his uh, inputs and his, his wisdom in your life uh, is, the, is the starting point for how you're going to manage uh, the relationship with your wife or and with other people are you going to respond so 
go and make that a prayer for this week and next week we will look at further things that you can do and then we'll start to look at uh, conflict management skills, some practical skills. This was Eric Schumann from Matters of the Soul. You can check us uh, Facebook, Matters of the Soul and YouTube and um, our website. So please go and like and subscribe, all those things. Um, it'll help us. God bless. Until next time. Goodbye.